Okay, welcome to the um, video archive. This is my first um, video log of or playing through an old classic. And this definitely has to be on here because it's one of my favourite games. Got Super Ghouls and Ghosts. One of the amazing games. Let's go. I think what made this game really good was the music. The music was amazing. Even now I still have like the ringtone on my phone is when people are calling me and the bosses are so cool as well, all the power-ups, even the invisibility on it, it is super amazing as well. Like, there were some skanks on this game so you could get through really fast, but as you can tell I've not played this in a while. <laughs> to get a bit of a feel for it and then I'll be alright. Yeah. There were hidden chests as well I believe, there was one right at the beginning of this level. Certain parts of the level you could, yeah, they just pop up if you jump in that area or move past it in a certain way. A lot of the enemies are so tough as well because when you jump you're committed to that direction that you jump in. Even if I hold right, look, there is no going back. Look, but you got the double jump to kind of correct any errors. All the animations in the levels as well. Some of the levels are so well designed. Some really good stuff. Oh, we've got another treasure chest. Yo, green armor. I've got those power lamps. Okay, don't want to jump yet because I'll be committed to the jump. Let him fall down. There we go. Yo! It's best not to risk it on this. <laughs> right, if I go down here, a chest appears on the top floor. Which now, there we go. One thing I do remember. And now I have invincible supers, which I really like. That. When he's flashing, like for that short amount of time, he becomes invincible. The best one to do it with is probably the daggers. It gives him the best super and the most invincibility. That's why whenever you watch speedruns on this, you're always watching them with the dagger. All the time. I'd run for it, but I really don't want to lose this armor right now. And there's another chest here in a minute when I jump back. There we go. Get that shield. Cool. So now I can stop certain projectiles. Not all of them, but the certain ones. That double jump. So good. <laughs> it was cool the way they added me on to um, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 as well. Even the vanilla one. It's one of my favourite games that. It's a shame he's terrible though. Yo. And as I was talking about before, the music. So good. Wait one second, I just need to make sure the mixer is on properly for the audio. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, back to the game. Can get it back on? Cool, there you go. Besides of those flames. Change weapon in a second. Ah, oh, this weapon's terrible. There we go, chest up there. Now. I did used to play this game a lot. I do know where a lot of the chests are. That guy turns you into a baby. You will see him a lot. You see the um, goblin as well. What do the Japanese call him? Renorima. Or Renorima or something. I'm not quite certain on that. Quite a tricky jump there. Right, if I jump under here, the chest appears on the top floor. 
Anything's better than this weapon. Then I've got lightning bolt as well. Lightning bolt's really good. As I say, you do get invincibility, so it's good to go under your enemy and then you know run straight away. What I'll do is right under him. Invincibility. Ah! Didn't quite last long enough. sticking with the daggers if I got that. You do actually start with the daggers as well, so... Okay, level 2. One of the main things that attracts this game as well is like how difficult it was. Even now it's one of the hardest games of all time. They did actually do um, a PSP port on this game as well. The PSP one was not really the same game. They added too much stuff, like you could fly on it and get new spells. You actually actually had to unlock the double jump as well, you didn't actually start with it. Okay, so get out of my way. Those ghosts can become quite annoying because they pop out of the floor most of the time. If I could time this jump right as well, skip the climbing up. There we go. Sometimes you'll get that pendulum swinging thing uh, that might attack you as you do that double jump, but I got lucky the timing was different then. If you notice that I'm climbing down those um, rope ladders, I'm actually doing it because, as I said before, certain areas when you're climbing up and down, jumping across certain things, you will see a treasure chest up here. So I'm just trying to like, change my weapon because. Now I'm stuck on the raft. The boss in this world will be it's like um, some kind of octopus with a stone head. <laughs> it's pretty cool actually. You don't see many bosses that look as cool as the ghouls and ghost ones. I won't be speed well, I say speeder, I won't be playing through this whole game, but that's why I kind of like do little playthroughs to show that there are better games than a lot of the rubbish that's coming out at the moment. Terrible stuff. People are like, oh my god, it's Call of Duty. Uh, no offense to all you Call of Duty fans, but I'm not a big fan. Halo's alright though. Ah, that's the golden armor. I could have really been used. Yo. It's actually quite powerful, this sonic boom. Sonic boom. When I said about the invincibility before, if you charge up this super, you can walk through these red pillars here. Whoa. against them. <laughs> mm, I don't want to get that one. Nah, I'll leave it. Can't reach it anyway. <laughs> Yo! Oh no! Ah. I was committed to the jump then. Like I mentioned about into the jump when you jump. Yo! The good thing about these, you can actually throw them down if you hold the down direction. And now I'm stuck with the crappy power on this. so strange in the background. That's to kind of say the green enemy is going to pop up, if you just witness. Cool. So I'm still sitting on free lives at the moment, so I'm not doing too bad. 
I thought it was going to do a lot worse, because this game is really tough. But now I have silver armor. Uh, ooh. Close one. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Even more close. Okay, so we get some points. Oh, that's the kind of time you jumps well on these. Because if you jump as the waves going down, it becomes hard to land on it. You just go right past it. You can double jump into neutral state, but I'm not many players think about that. <laughs> Definitely not what I thought of when I was playing it when I was a kid. Okay, so now you'll see the boss coming out of the, um, the waterfall. There we go. Too bad this weapon because I can keep attacking. Oh, Especially with such a terrible weapon. Did literally no damage. You can kill him in like the two or three, two, three seconds with powered up lances or powered up daggers. So this weapon does no damage. There's a lot of power ups on this level, so. There we go. Yeah, I might as well get that. Get more damage in. Another one on the chest. There we go. Those little devils are quite annoying on the stage. They will appear a lot. These big bears, I don't really care for. Yo, standing Arthur. <laughs> this level gets really tough later. Swoop down, copies the firebrand setup. If any of you are familiar with the unblockable setup, there we go. Ooh, that's a close one. Come on, shoot up. Ah. Definitely need to change the weapon. Right, here comes the pillars that arrive from the floor. These are really awkward jumps. Time and then jumps perfectly. Instant double jump. So good. Ah, ooh. That close. Here comes Firebrand. Ah, damn it. Get away. Yo. Just have to keep kind of running away from this guy now, otherwise, he never goes away. Because I'm going higher, it's okay.
he is actually still on the screen chasing me. Wow. <laughs> this has never happened. He usually disappears by now. Oh, scratch that. You'll see me spamming this a lot because it's got invincibility, so why not? stream watchers or you know, any other video watchers out there familiar with SNES games you might like uh, some of my other favourite ones which I will be recording in the near future um, probably be doing titles like Contra 3, Punch Out, Super Metroid, Yoshi's Island you know, the typical, the best ones, even Donkey Kong as well, I love that game the music on Donkey Kong is so good and Yoshi's Island one of my favourite soundtracks in that. Here we go, got the best weapon. With the dragon. Yeah, I'm trying to surprise him. <laughs> got a combo. One dragon. Okay, so now I'm on the boss. This one's really tough. It circles around you. There we go. It's like a uh, snake. Oh no! Oh my god! I did actually hold back and press jump, but I got an itchy nose. <laughs> Bad player blames his um, tools <laughs> and died to. Oh, I did a pick up that. Oh, God. oh no! <laughs> Why did I do with him? Just to get those extra points. The game wants you to do that. It puts them there on purpose. You gotta kinda like just jump forward. I'm gonna play until you use my continues and then do another video next time. Probably doing it on a weekly basis. Those 3D graphics are just nice. <laughs> Try jump forward. Ah, there we go. Tricks around it. It has the same momentum as after you jump forward. Um, as you can see, ah, uh, look, stay in the same place. Well, pretty much. I think it's a little bit faster after you jump. So as long as I'm not right next to the edge, I'll be alright.
game controller man. He knows he needs Donald. <laughs> but it is one of the hardest games, so why not? Right, right. Ooh, that's close. Right, so now I've got to beat this boss with no armor. Can't really see it happening. But I will definitely try. Thinking he's got a small jump. If I could get rapid fire on him. But no, I don't like that. Oh, I'm sorry if any of you are really good at this game and I'm ruining your childhood. <laughs> Next time I'll be playing for a super punch shot and I guarantee you you'll be a little bit more impressed than my gameplay at the moment. To be honest I thought I was gonna die on the second level. Those rapids. Keep my power up now. A little bit more powerful than my dag is at the moment. score on these games for us. I'm not too sure if the scores give you an extra life or, or like Mario where you're just getting scores on, on levels. Yeah. Hey cool, I got lasers. I get lasers. Okay, it's all or nothing. No more jumping I swear. Yes. <laughs> I should have really chosen an easy game to do my first video on the game. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I said I wouldn't jump. I keep touching it by accident. Right, I'm on my last life. This is it now. It's all or nothing. <laughs> I promise you that wasn't intentional. I am actually a terrible gamer. It's proven fact. Video proof right here. On youtube.com slash goofyfarfar. Should be newbie far far right? <laughs> Infinite jog.
Earth from the waves, like Nimbus from Dragon Ball Z. Here we go. Yo, I can see you. Yo. Yeah. I'm ready for you. Go, boss. Played it a bit risky then. I'm sure I really tried that to be fair. Yeah, go down. Ooh, that one nearly gets me every time. Quits after that. 
anyway that was my terrible gameplay of super ghouls and ghosts so i hope you enjoyed it feel free to follow my channel i will be doing some more playthroughs well short playthroughs even until i end up dying of future games on the super nintendo i won't be playing through many sega genesis games but i do have access to them so Maybe I'll even play for a suit, uh, Nintendo 64 game or Dreamcast game as well. And I could also show you some combos as well as any fighting games you're interested in. If you just uh, leave a comment on the bottom of the YouTube link. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoy guys. Catch you next time.